Hey Secondary 2 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. So yesterday I gave you a question on direct proportion which is pretty simple and I'm going to give you the answer right now. So hold on to your seats. The answer is, okay, for A, the answer is 0 0.625 kilograms and the answer for B is 1, 2 cm. All right, so if you got it both right, I'm going to give you a big high five over the internet. <claps> high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't understand how to do this, let's do it a bit slower. Okay. And I'm going to show you the step by step of how to do this. So this question is all about proportion, right? The question about proportion. So they said that W is proportional to the length. Uh, the mass, by the way, mass is W in this case. Is proportional to the length so in order for you to find the proportion you actually have to find W over L okay if they said that um, is indirect <coughs> is inversely then all I have to do is the L over W is the opposite side okay so for this case W over L uh, and in rod A you can actually have a an example okay where is 0 0.5 over <coughs> let me see in this book time over 20 okay which equals to if you divide everything, you get 1 over 40. You times 2 above, you times 2 below, you get 1 over 40. So that is the proportion. So for part A, in order for you to find what is the mass of rod B, all you have to do is find W over L. So if for rod B, yeah, the, the W, the weight actually is um, X, and the length is 25. Now this has to be the same as this. Got it? So all you have to do is put X over 25, equals to 1 over 40 and solve this equation so you bring the 25 over you times 25 you get x equals to 25 over 40 and you do it and you get the answer which is 0 0.625 very simple if you got this right good job you're a math prodigy all right and b in order for you to find rot um rot c's length all you have to do is do the same thing w over l equals to 0 0.3 over what? Uh, in this case, it's y, right? Yeah, y. So this proportion has to be the same as this proportion, which means that 0 0.3 over y has to be equals to 1 over 40. So in this case, you just multiply it over y times 1 and 40 times 3. You get you get y equals to 40 times 0 0.3, which you get 40, which equals to y equals to 12. CM and that's how you get the answer. It is pretty simple. Direct proportion is very direct. That's all it is to it. Okay? So again, good job if you got it right. You're a math prodigy. And right now I'm gonna give you a new question for the day. And the question is pretty simple. <laughs> the question is: it is given that the pull in Newton, this is by the way science, physics, yeah. Given that the pull in Newton is inversely proportional to the square of the distance in centimeters from an object. If the pull is 100 newtons when the distance is 5 cm, find A the pull when the distance is 2 cm and find B the distance when the pull is 25 newtons. Alright, so again I must stress this one last time, no this is going to stress this for the next one week. Victory loves preparation. Victory loves what? Victory loves preparation. Okay, I'm going to do this very cool flashy thing. Victory, victory, victory loves preparation. The more you prepare, the more you are ready for victory. With that, you are a math prodigy.